we would receive messages often that they seemed to know where I was and what I was doing and we really didn't have any idea how that was possible. There was a point where I felt something hard under my skin on my leg and we started to wonder, okay, maybe there's a tracking device of some sort. We had heard that that can be something traffickers do. And so one night I went ahead and cut it out myself. The doctor verified it was something that was not supposed to be in a person for sure. I have absolutely no memory of any of these being put in my body. Well, Rachel's husband, Ben, says he's felt what could be a tracking device under his wife's skin, but never saw her physically remove it. Now, Rachel recently went to a doctor to get another device removed uh, from her arm. Take a look. On a recent afternoon, I had a medical colleague call me somewhat in a urgent manner to take care of a young girl who was involved in the sex trafficking industry. He felt like there was an implantable device in her forearm. On exam, there was a little scar on her left forearm, and then you could feel some fullness right underneath that scar as well. Do we know for sure something was implanted for sure or no? No. She allowed us to excise that scar. So that's it right there. It's encapsulated, which means your body just kind of walls it off with scar tissue. It was definitely not normal. There it is, right there. That is not tissue. That's definitely not normal. We went ahead and removed it. We checked the rest of that wound, and it was a lot smaller than the other device uh, she had removed. It's smaller than the other one. So that feels firm, but I don't see like a metallic fragment in there. Your understanding is that these are tracking devices. Yeah. You removed one of the devices yourself. Mm -hmm. That had to hurt. Um, not when you're completely numb at that point. Not necessarily like I numbed myself, but um, just numb. Yeah. Now, this is a picture of, of what you removed from your leg. Um, and this is a metallic device, and what, how long is that? It's hard to tell from the picture. Is it it's like? like a grain of rice almost, mm -hmm. maybe yeah. a little bit smaller than that. Yeah. You're kind of small. And then we saw what the doctor took out. Mm -hmm. we, we spoke to a, a PI, and that's a pretty high-tech guy, and he says it's just not possible to track humans with some kind of GPS device that's implanted. There are all kinds of GPS tracking devices. Uh, the one on the left is an ankle bracelet, like you see with people that are put on you know, probation or whatever and electronically. The one in the middle is for pets, and the one on the right is for elderly people or children or whatever, you can put some kind of bracelet or necklace on them where it'll ping and you can find them if they tend to wander off. But you can see none of those could be implanted in any way that wouldn't be pretty obvious. When was the last time you believe that you were triggered and left the house to meet up with these men you were expected to service? This last summer, May, July or August, I don't. Okay, so it hasn't been that long. No. And You've been to the police about this. What do they say? Um, originally, like, or when I first talked to police officers, they almost always are like, um, we're going to stop this. We're going to help you. Um, and then within a day or two, either they don't talk, call us back anymore, or they'll tell me, I'm sorry, we can't help you. They don't believe you. They don't believe me, no. They don't believe you. These are some of the police reports that have been filed front porch break-in, hand injured, security footage didn't show anything. 12-2017, a community member says falsely accused by Rachel, RE controlling a sex ring. February 9th, 18, break-in, attack, hand cut, trash carved on flesh. Neighbors hear no struggle, police say wound self-inflicted. So there's nothing in there where they say this family is under attack, this woman is being victimized. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.